Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um, we're gonna do Claws season three, episode three. We're gonna review that. Um, also pretty quickly, the I apologize if the Black Ink Cruise review was very quick, but my voice has been going in and out for the last couple of days, so I'm trying to just trying to get through it and get something up for you guys. But um, Jen, Bryce, and the girls are staying at Desmond's house, and it is in complete chaos. So she wants to buy a new house, you know, just to get some peace of mind and to have a place, I guess, that's just her and Dean's because um, Jen and her life situation has bombarded her house. Whatever. All right, so Jen and Bryce are talking to the lawyer, and they're starting to realize that EJ definitely may have a case, um, though it's not likely he's going to get sole custody, but he's definitely looking like a good candidate for joint custody. So, um... Jen is asking Bryce, like, hey, we don't want her to do it. We don't want him to have anything to do with her, right? And Bryce um, kind of changes his mind and lets her know, like, hey, not really, because if it was my daughter, I kind of wouldn't want you to keep me away from her. So I actually want to give EJ a shot. So, um, yeah, so Bryce has changed his mind. So I guess they're going to eventually end up letting the little girl meet up with her biological father. So that that's definitely a good thing because there's some roles that, you or a surrogate or fill in or step or you know foster parent can't feel so it just has to happen i suppose all right moving on um desna has bought a new house and the realtor is letting her know like hey this is out of your budget and doesn't let her know like um when you're a boss that there's nothing out of your budget now i don't know if that was the smartest move because um desna girl how huh, you that casino is making money, but I don't know that the that mm, Melba and Mo, whatever the, the casino owner people's names are, I don't think that you're on payroll. Or I'm guessing she is on payroll, but she's not making as much as she should be. I don't know if she can afford it, basically. And that's what the real store and she just started, you know, throwing the cash out like she was at the strip club. Like, just let me get the house, basically. Like, don't tell me what I can't afford. Don't know that she can, but I'm assuming she's when she's hanging her hat on the fact that she's going to take um, Melba and Mo, I don't remember if that's their names, but that's going to be their names right now. If she's going to be able to take the casino owners down and, you know, become the sole owner and blah, blah, blah. And then she'll be able to afford whatever she wants to because she'll own Miami for the most part. All right, boom. So um, they show up at the nail shop, all the girls show up at the nail shop, and somebody has gone into the, to the nail shop and put the dead Penelope in a chair at the salon and everybody's freaking out they don't know they don't know what to do so desna has to be quick and she has to make a decision so um they solicit some help and you know put the girls to work to get the blood cleaned up before customer shots showing up and then to get the body out of the shop which lets her know that mo and melba i think that's her name have figured out that desna has something to do with penelope running away from them the last episode when they were going to give her the money to be quiet right so Boom, stuff's starting to fall apart already. All right, so moving on. But before, you know, everybody breaks up and, you know, starts doing their respective roles and cleaning up the, the dead body, Virginia asks, asks Destin, like, hey, is the casino really worth all this trouble that's coming with it? Um, and Destin says that it is, but that's a really good question because I'm feeling like it's not going to be. And I'll tell you why towards the end when somebody comes up missing, right? So, um, Virginia is getting takeout and, you know, she has this little, her aura has changed since she got the new eye transplant and, you know, she can kind of sense people's personalities and what they need to be doing and blah, blah, blah. She meets this guy and, um, you know, they kind of have like an instant connection, but I don't know how that's going to work with you being engaged to Dean, which is Desmond's brother, but should be, should be an interesting development in the coming episodes. Okay. So, um, Roller goes to Polly and lets Polly know, like, hey, Polly, I'm really trying to give this whole relationship thing a go with Desna. Um, what do I need to do? And she lets him know, like, hey, you need to clean up, take her out, like, do something different. Um, and he cleans it. He cleaned up very nicely. And, you know, he gets Desna to agree to a date with him, you know, the new roller. And, um, unfortunately, he never gets to the date. And I'll tell you why a little bit later. Okay. Um, Speaking about that, I still don't know, even if you're, if Roller, even though he's interested in being in a relationship now, if, that, if that's ever going to work because you tried to kill Desna and she tried to kill you. So 
I don't think that's ever gonna work out, but do what you gotta do, I guess. All right, so um, Mac and Melba. That's that's their name, Mac and Melba, Melba, whatever. Eminem's. That's what I'm calling the casino owners. Um, Dean is sitting at the casino, and you know him and Mac, which is the the guy owner, the weird guy owner of the casino. They kind of meet and they chat short term, and he's kind of he's kind of taking like a slight interest in Dean. And now that um, they're sitting there talking, Desna com comes walking up. He realizes that that's Desna's brother, and Desna makes him go home. Now he's very interested. So that may be a pawn that they're going to use against Desna in order, in order to get her to walk away from, from the casino. So that wasn't nice for them to show that hand, because you know that that's with Dean having that mental illness, that may be make him a little more susceptible because. Um, once Desmond sends him away, he's like, hey, I need a male. Um, Gene is letting Desmond know, like, hey, I, I need a male presence in my life. Um, blah, blah, blah. And kind of thinking about actually being friends with Mac. She is telling him, like, you know, he's a bad person. You don't need to be his friend, but she can't tell him why or whatever. So Dean is kind of combative about wanting to be Mac's friend and wanting to do what Desmond asked him not to do. So, yeah. That is also going to be interesting. Okay. So, Early on, Polly learns that the governor is having a party, so they show up, they intercept the invitation, they um, go to the party, and they don't realize that they get there. Yes, it's a party that Mac and Melva are putting on for the governor, but it's not a normal party. It is a orgy slash bestiality slash role-playing costume type of party. So they don't want to do some shit that they have to participate in in order to get the information on Mac, Milva, and the governor. All right. So, you know, they're just talking and drinking champagne and just kind of trying to blend into everything that's going on in the room. Um, and Desna finally gets the governor alone. And, you know, he's into some old freaky shit, but she gets a lot more information about what Mac and Melva are doing and how she's be, being cut out of the deal without letting him know that. Um, and during the party, everybody's just kind of drinking the champagne, going with the flow, whatever. And we find out that, hey, there's Molly in all of the champagne, which I guess is, you know, how everybody's inhibitions are way, way, way down. But it, it also affects everybody that has taken it, which is Polly and all the other girls. Desna has not. She She's all about her business. She ain't drinking nothing. She's just there to get in and get out. So everybody tripping out the Molly so much so that. I don't remember her name. Quiet Ann. Quiet Ann has had sex with a man and she gay as shit. So I don't know if that's an effect of Molly. Does it make it straight? I don't know. That's not my problem. It's my business. But, um, yeah. Virginia is somewhere on cloud nine looking at rainbows and unicorns. Polly is, um, there's a few personalities that's slipping out of her head and she's talking too much. Um, the guy with the, the beard, the weird painter guy that works for for um, the casino owners, he is there as well. And um, Molly, Polly is half to Molly. And she lets him know like, hey, y'all shouldn't have put the dead body in the shop, blah, 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 blah. But then she has to go suddenly. So she's kind of revealed a little bit of their hand, knowing that they know whatever they know about the casino owners putting the dead body in the salon. Right. So cool. Tea is getting spilled left and right. Things are coming unravel. People are being messy. We need to pull this back together. All right. So, um, so basically, the more story, the more of this episode is. Devin has found out that the governor is building private prisons, and contractors are paying him under the table in order to win the bid for the contracts. Right. Which, being someone that has experience with contracts, that's not how that's supposed to work. That is not how the bidding process works. But y'all do what y'all got to do to get to get the million dollar contract. Cool. We'll live with that. Um, however, they're building private prisons to lock little brown people up like me and more probably you. Um, and Desna is now on a one man mission to shut all those private jails down before it even starts. So Desna tells the casino owner she has a meet with, with Mike, with Mac and Melva and lets them know, hey, I know everything you're doing. She tells them everything she knows about the private prisons and just revealing everything she knows about them. And in exchange for not going public, she tells them um, that, sorry, I lost my train of thought. She tells them that so that she doesn't go public with the information, they need to become silent partners 
and silent owners in the business and she becomes the forefront and gets a greater percentage flipping the table and showing her hand so now they're at a disadvantage and they don't know what to do um they kind of want to kill her but they can't kill her because that would bring too much heat to the casino and they run it you know they're washing a lot of money running a lot of scam through the casino so they kind of um got caught with their pants down on that one and they, and they let her in the lake we definitely underestimated you and she let them know had this has been my whole life people have always underestimated underestimated me so that ain't nothing new so um and she also let them know hey if anything happens to me i already have it set up where this information is going to go to the media so hey do what you got to do but um these are my terms and conditions basically um and then we move on and we learned that dean insists on him and virginia moving out of desmond's house because he's an adult which he's, he's definitely an adult um despite his mental in capabilities that's the word despite his mental incapabilities he's an adult so he wants to be on his own he doesn't want to live with desna and he also insists on being friends with mac which is probably a bad idea so we'll see what happens with that all right so we're getting ready to close out the episode and roller and desna had a date and rollers you know stopping at a gas station to get some flowers you know dress up you know make this make the night nice for desna and this lady's like hey i need some help with my car do you mind helping me which all right that's scam number three in the book of scams but um and she ends up drugging him and people come out of some van grab him and haul him away um so i'm assuming mac and melva has now kidnapped roller in an attempt to get back at desna which that's not good because as much as she says she don't love him she loves him. okay so roller's gone dean wants to be friends with mac um desna has showed her entire hand way too soon in my opinion um yeah so we will see what happens and what develops as it relates to Rolla being kidnapped in the next episode. And I'll see y'all then. Peace.